Yeah, my father is a very simple man. You know, he's 84 years old right now. Uh, and when he was in his late 20s, obviously that's when Fidel Castro came into power back in the late uh, 50s and early 60s. And my father knew something was not right. There was a sense of, of, of people really flocking to this man because of all these false promises. And what ended up happening is that the military and the government took full control of their business, of my father's businesses. My father had built everything from scratch. He didn't come for money. He had, by the end, by, in his, think about it, in his mid-20s, he had four, he was running four different businesses successfully. Mm. They took each and every one of his businesses and they assigned, quote unquote, a job to him. And my father is like, they just realized that what was happening was the infiltration of communism, a quick change in the country that he loved. But my father had a choice. He had to decide, do I stay quiet? You know, do I just follow the, the crowd? Or do I stand up and fight? And my father decided that he was going to stand up and fight. And he joined a counter-revolutionary group in the attempt to, uh, to, to get rid of the communist government. Um, they caught these men. There was about 13 men. He, my father then was served, they sentenced him for 13 years. He served six of the 13, 13 years. And his stories, and he wouldn't share many of the stories with us when he was, when I was a kid, but you learn afterwards the torture, the solidary confinement for two or three months at a time. And the man, because of his faith, his great faith, and that, that he knew that he would get through this, survived those horrific years. But he realized when he came to America and he said, we have to do everything we can to ensure that America does not become a socialist country or a communist country. We have to do everything we can to defend these amazing freedoms that have been given to us 